It looks like today is the day that we get to replace the uh, shiny chrome faucet with a brand new brushed faucet from Wow Wow. And we're going to start that right about now. So here we go. We're going to open up the box and the uh, first thing we're going to find when we get in the box, instructions, ready to go. And right under the instructions, we've got the famous Wow Wow gloves so that you know you're handling everything with care. Well, they're a pretty tight fit, but we can get them on and we're ready to go. I'm going to put the pop-up drain in first. So what I've done is I've taken the gasket all the way down as far as it'll go. I've got the top off. And we're going to start there. We're going to put that down and we're going to put a little bit of a little stencil around the outside of it with some masking tape. So I've got the sink all masked off with just ordinary masking tape. Maybe frog tape if you like, the green stuff. And then I masked off the top part, the top flange of the pop-up. And we just ease that down in there. And we've got our fit. And this way when it comes, if there's a bit of silicone that squeezes out, you don't want it either on this pop-up flange or on the sink base because silicone is just the nastiest stuff to try to get rid of once you've got it. So you don't want it smeared all over the bottom, the basin. And this will make for a really slick cleanup. Okay. Now we've got the flange of the pop-up set in the sink with a little bit of silicone on the back of it. We're going to go underneath and we're going to put the main drain into, we're going to screw it up into the flange. That's impossible to do with one hand. We want the this screwed up into the flange as tight as it will go. We're just doing finger tight and we're going to turn it until the pop-up release is pointing right back at the faucet. So everything lines up. Now we're going to move this nut up until it comes in contact with the bottom of the sink. There are nice wide grab bars on the side of this nut here so you can get a really good grip and you can get it tightened up as tight as you want. That looks pretty tight. I think we're good to go there. So we got a little bit of squeeze out there on the side of the flange. Then we just go around the finger without the gloves on and clean that up. And then we'll peel the masking tape off and it will make a really slick job. Okay, here we go. We've got the masking tape pulled off the bottom of the basin and we'll just pull it off the flange. And that gives you a really slick finish. Okay, we're ready for the main event. Got the white gloves back on again. And out of the bag. I 
Out of the bag comes the brand new Wow Wow single lever brushed nickel lavatory valve. It's pretty slick. All right, now I've got to put some a little bit of tape. Notice how they've capped off the bottoms of the supply tubes here. That's pretty slick. So I'll put a little bit of Teflon tape on there. And then we will put the gasket in place and put the uh, put the faucet on. Now you notice I've got a little bit of stain here from the previous faucet. So this time I'm going to put a little bit of silicone to bed the new faucet down once we get the new gasket on. It should, it, I checked and it covers. The new gasket covers that stain so it won't show. But I won't have to worry about another stain coming on. Okay, they sent us a lifetime supply of Teflon tape. But you just need a couple of wraps around each one of the supply tubes. Okay, so we've removed the faucet from the snazzy little bag that it came in. Now we're going to use the bag to sit on the counter and sort of as an assembly area for all the little bits and pieces. I have removed the little protective caps that are on the end of the supply tubes. There are two of those, so we took them off. And then I applied two wraps of Teflon tape. I've got the gasket, the polyethylene gasket that goes on the bottom of the faucet. If you look carefully, you'll notice there's a flange on the top which meshes perfectly. It just nests right in there on the bottom of the faucet to give you a nice tight edge. We're putting a little bit of silicone just around the outside of the polyethylene gasket so that you don't have to worry about water going between the faucet and the deck and then down into the cabinet below. Just a little tiny bit. You don't want a lot. We have the gasket all siliconed up. We're going to take that and we're going to put it right down into the deck and we're going to make sure that we cover that old stain. We've got this sitting in the deck now and we'll put a little bit of pressure on it and we're going to center it up so it's parallel to the backsplash and it's basically forward toward us as far as we can possibly get it. So it's up against the inside holes on the deck so that the water is coming out as far as possible. When you go to put a glass underneath, you want to make sure it doesn't bang up against the, the faucet or the, the basin. Okay, okay here we go. We've got the jam nuts ready to go. I'll show you that. Go up in here, if you can see that. I'm going to go right over top of the tape. It's easier. Okay, so we're going to be putting this on. If you can see that. Starting it up here nice and slow. And you just do that with your fingertip. pressure on and then go over and do the one on the other side. that this is lined up correctly, that it hasn't moved around while you've been trying to get the nuts on. So I'll be right back. Let me see if the lights 
It looks pretty good. Rolling. So I'm going to take the hot supply tube. I've flushed it out for two minutes. I'm going to take it and we're going to apply it up here. I'm going to get it over the drain. Take the coal supply tube, bring it around, flush that one as well, and bring it up here. I've got an adjustable wrench set to the right size for the supply side uh, nuts and I'm going to reach up in behind here and tighten them up. Of course I am. All right. I hope you can see that. There we go. So I'm just tightening this up one face at a time. That's all I can get. Now, between the Teflon tape and the rubber gasket that is on the supply line, it doesn't really have to be super tight. It just has to be right. So that is the cold side. And then over on this side here, we've got we've got the hot line, so that's the one we have to do next. It's not gonna... This is what it looks like when it's done. The two nuts are tied up against the fly, uh, the uh, the deck, so that the faucet doesn't move. And the supply tubes, they are connected properly and everything's nice and tight. This is the pop-up valve control rod. And this is the nut which goes up against the back of the tailpiece that comes out the bottom of the sink. So it goes up and down like that. You get the action there? In the tailpiece, there is a special little nylon washer that's got a bevel on it that goes up against this ball and it's stuck tight inside the uh, the T down below. This part here comes down from the pop-up valve control rod. Okay. All right. So this part goes through here like this. This part comes down from up above in the faucet and you attach it. You tighten this little nut on here to control how much of this is up above the faucet. All right. Now, in order to hold this rod in this bar, you need this little spring here. Can you see that? One side goes on one side of the bar. The control rod goes through like that. And there's a spring action here. You see the spring? So that that controls and then this eventually pulls this up and down like that. Now we're going to put this in and we go through it one little bit at a time. First of all we put the control rod into the back of the tailpiece. Cut. 
the flower. On the back of the tailpiece, there is a fitting, a threaded fitting. And this control rod goes straight in there like that. And then you tighten up the jam nut on the back of the tailpiece. And that secures that in place. So this controls the pop-up plug in the bottom of the basin. So we just leave it there like that. Okay? You can see it's sort of sitting straight back like that. There we go. Okay, the pop-up control rod goes down through the back of the faucet and you decide about where you want it to operate. Somewhere in around there, about it's got to move up and down, up and down. In our case, it just barely misses the mirror. So we don't want it to come up too far. Up and down, like that. All right. Just a minute. All right. So this rod is going down through the faucet. This fixture here, this bar, it's going to be in behind the bowl, in behind the basin. So it's going to be really hard for me to show you doing that back in there, but this is the action you want. You want to bring it down in through there, and then this little nut tightens up in the right position. Okay? And we just put the wrench on the side. Of it. Now I'm going to try to film that underneath, but it's going to be a bit challenging because it's it's a very tight sp spot back in there. Okay, here we go. We're you can see the control rod for the pop-up valve is moving up and down. I've tightened the nut on the pop-up control bar up above, and D is moving it up and down. And we decided that's a that's a pretty good place to give us this nice action so that the pop-up valve is moving up and down properly. All I have to do now is to put this little spring on. And I'm going to need another hand to do that, so I'm going to have to stop it. So we're going in in this configuration. We've got the hole at the back of the stopper. We're going to go down, and you're doing this blind. And you go down, and you're controlling. You see I'm moving that stopper rod back and forth. And you're actually trying to capture that hole with the end of this bar. Okay. Oh, missed it. There we go. See, it won't come out when it's here. So now you just tighten the, the gland knot back up on the control rod. And we just snug that up. That holds everything in place. Okay, and if you come out here, you pull it up, it goes down, you push it down, it comes up. Gotta love technology. Okay, we're getting down to the final strokes here. The last little bit is putting the P-trap back in place. You've connected the uh, gland nut, we pushed it up on the tailpiece, and we tightened that up, and then we tighten up the adjustable nut over on the end of the, the P-trap. So we're just about ready to go, and we'll turn the water on, fill the trap, but first of all, we'll take the aerator off. So, what we need to do here, on the, air, on the bottom of the faucet, the last thing that happens to the water before it goes into the sink 
is it goes through this aerator. It gives you that nice bubbly flow. So we're just going to take that off and set it aside just in case there's anything still floating around the system that might clog up this fine aerator. Just a little filing or something like that, a little piece of scale out of the plumbing. We'll run the uh, the water, we'll turn the, uh, the bibs back on, the supply bib bibs back on down below, and we'll run the water for a couple of minutes and that will flush out the whole system. First hot and then cold. That's pretty sweet. And a nice flow there. And the water's running hot. Okay, we've checked down below for leaks. Everything seems to be a go. Everything's nice and tight and dry. So I think we're ready to... So we're going to turn the water on. And that's on really low. It's filling the basin quite quickly. You can give it a little more if you like. And just switch over to hot. Back to cold. Half. You can bring it sort of halfway in between. Open and close. Open. I think it's a little bit nicer than the really super shiny chrome. Notice it's not water spotting or anything like that. Good faucet.